How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sun and Moon. Last time, we went back to the Mally Garden, and we came face to face with the boss of Team Skull, Guzma. And then we made our way on to Route 11, and we received Mudsdale for our ride pager. We took on the trainers off screen in between episodes, and now we are here on the Blush Mountain where we are going to pick up, first and foremost, a Zygarde cell chilling out right next to the rocks here. Perfect. Alright, so this is the geothermal power plant. You can see the power plant in the background. It looks quite large, actually, but like the power plant in the Kalos region, you can't explore it! Yay! So let's just hop in. Welcome to the geothermal power plant. Take your time to read all about our plant. Time moves slow around here. You could even say we move in geologic time. Ah, ha, ha, science jokes. Our class is here on a field trip, so we rented out an entire Executor Express. Uh, I didn't see a bus out here, and you're the only kid that's right here. I'm a little concerned. I'm one of the researchers here at the geothermal power plant. Oh, Magnemite, not again. How many times do I have to tell you if you suck up all the electricity at once, we lose power and the whole place goes dark? Sorry, I hope you weren't frightened just now. The Magnemite is actually my Pokemon. I'm really sorry if it gave you a shock. Will you take this TM with my apologies? TM-63 Embargo! You trying to buy me off? Magnemite loves electricity, but the power at my place got shut off. So I bring it here to power the station like this sometimes, but it seems the fresh power from this place has a particular flavor. Ah, yeah, that is something to mention. Um, uh, it's kind of in the anime more so, but uh, electric types do tend to like... Uh, favor different types of electricity in the anime. It's actually quite cool. It's mostly with Pikachu, though, so it's not really too diverse with that. Hey, look, it's Professor Samson Oak again. Oh, hello, hello, Alola. Here in the Alola region, volcanic eruptions can result in long, thin strands of magma. They form strands of glass, rather like hair. But the hair on the diglet here is not glass but rather whiskers of some metallic substance. They use them for communication, and as a sort of sensor to investigate their surroundings. Here, I've been wanting to give you this. A lore ball! Hey, we could catch a totodial if we found one. I hope you'll try to complete your Pokedex, for Rotom's sake as well. Well, thank you, Samson Oak, and yes, uh, Professor Samson Oak will give you lessons on the Alolan forms each and every time you see him. The underground part of the plant is he planet is huge. You think Pokemon pop out sometimes? Maybe. So there are three kids here on this field trip, but what? Like your whole class? That that's not a whole class. That's like not anything. Uh, that reception desk. I'm not gonna even worry about that. Uh, now, I'll speak to you, actually. You can turn the heat within a lawless ground into electricity, and it doesn't even cost a thing. This is the real blessing of nature. Uh, I guess. Is, is this the, is this the cheapo version of the Executor Express? I don't know. Uh, there is an item right here that I somehow missed, a timer ball. Okay, cool. Uh, well... That's pretty much it for the Blush Mountain, except for the fact that there is that item that you saw there. And there's also a Pokemon that I'm looking for on this mountain that I want to add to my team. And no, it is not a Mudbray. But first, before we find this Pokemon, I'm going to pick up the Sunstone. Ah, cool. If only I had one of those in Pokemon Go, I could evolve my, uh, either my Gloom or my, uh, 
Sunkern. I almost forgot the name of the Pokemon for a second. And no, Geodude, I told you last time when I ran into you that I'm not I'm not catching you. I did catch it in Moon, though. Uh, I wanted to use an Alolan form, and I was considering using an Alolan form in Sun, since this is the main adventure that I'm showing off. Uh, but I just decided, you know what, I'll just use an Alolan form in Moon, and it just so happened that Geodude basically fit along with my Moon team, especially after I... Uh, rearranged it a bit and got rid of Shinotic and added Confei. Uh, so, it's taking a little while longer than I would like to find this specific Pokémon, so I think I'm just gonna go and cut ahead until I do. Finally! Togedemaru has appeared. I have been searching for gosh darn near 10 minutes now. Okay, so Togedemaru is the Alola Pika clone, as they've been affectionately referred to. Although Togedemaru is a little bit unique because it has the steel typing in addition to it being electric typing. Okay, so now, I have, I have to figure out a way not to take it out. It's only level 28, so it's a little under-leveled compared to the rest of my team. But, uh, hopefully, I will be able to... Uh, I don't know if I should even attack it any longer, because, I mean, it did go to half health off the Pollen Puff. And it's trying to call for a buddy, which it did call for. Okay, let's see. Are you gonna be higher-leveled? No, you are not higher level. Okay, um, well, I'll take out the other Togedemaru, because now I'm forced to. It's kind of like trying to catch Salandit all over again. Oh, boy. All right, hopefully it'll be a little easier to catch Togedemaru. Lightning Rod, okay. They both have Lightning Rod? Oh, oh, wait, or maybe that one has Lightning Rod. Ooh, okay, that one seems to have Lightning Rod over there, so its stats are gonna... Actually, no, I think both of them do. Okay, I mean, I don't really care about what ability. I mean, I'd prefer its other ability instead of Lightning Rod, but, uh, I mean, if I can catch this, that would be all that matters to me. Okay, I'm gonna toss an Ultra Ball, because I want to have three Pokemon in regular Pokeballs, and three Pokemon in unique Pokeballs, so let's do this. Let's toss the Ultra Ball. Tokenomaru, please don't break out. One. Two, three, thank you, okay. It took a little while to find you, Togedemaru, but you have been caught. I honestly would have preferred if you were a female one, though, considering Salazzle is my only female Pokemon, and it's kind of by force, considering Salandits only evolve into Salazzles if they're female. Uh, but, you know, it sometimes happens that way. Funnily enough, in Moon, uh, Three of my Pokemon are female there, so... I don't know. I guess it just worked out that way. Anyway, Togedemaru has been registered in the Pokedex. And that is our full team in Sun. Togedemaru, the roly-poly Pokemon. The spiny fur on its back is normally at rest. When, it's, uh, when this Pokemon becomes agitated, its fur stands on end and stabs into its attackers. If only you were blue when you were shiny, then you could be Sonic the Hedgehog. Alright, Togedemaru has been added to our party, and that is officially it for Blush Mountain. Thankfully, I didn't run into another wild Pokemon before I got out of there. That would have been very bad, and I would have been a little agitated. Anyway, uh, oh, we were on Route 12. I said Route 11 earlier. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's another place along the route I actually have not been yet. And, oops, I didn't mean to activate Charizard, I meant to activate Mudsdale. Up on the D-pad, up on the D-pad, there we go. Okay, so, there's a place down here, which this person will graciously tell us about, Ula Ula's Secluded Shore. Uh, you should have Stoutland try and search out items. Ooh, treasure, I'm down for treasure. Okay, I think there's also trainers here, which is a little upsetting. But I also think there is a, yes, there it is, the Zygarde Cell. There's also one at nighttime, too, so I'm gonna have to come back for the one at night. 
Uh, let me actually hop off of all of my ride Pokemon. I meant to just press plus on the D-pad. Uh, plus on the D-pad. I've been playing too much Nintendo Switch. Um, uh, I meant to... What was I going to say? I meant to press up on the D-pad and not <laughs> go on Tauros, but you know what? It's how that worked. Berry Tree! Wow, there's actually a Crabrawler here, even though it's a small pile. I thought Crabrawlers only appeared in the bigger piles, but okay. Well, uh, hey, Crabrawler. Nice to see you. Oh, that background is so beautiful. Oh, the backgrounds in this game are top-notch. I love them so much. Oh, it's a female Crabrawler. If only I could have gotten a female Tokenomaru. Or even a female Robombi, because Robombi to me seems more like a female Pokemon. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it just looks more female than male, but... Well, most Pokemon tend to look a certain gender, but they can still be 50-50. I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, let's pick up some berries. Chesto berry. How many more berries we got? Aspir berry. And probably one more. A cherry berry. Okay, not bad. Uh, there seems to be a lot of slow poke here, which excites me. But uh, how about you, Mr. Police Officer? What are you doing here? You can look, but you can't touch. Uh, actually, you can touch, but you can't catch. All of the slowpoke on this beach are managed and protected by the Alola region. Oh, that's so nice. That's actually, that's actually very cool. Uh, I would face these trainers right now, and I might be forced to face this male swimmer. No, I'm not. Okay, good. Because uh, I would prefer to make my way onto the next route. I want to make a little bit more progress before I end off this episode. And how? Hi, how? James! I heard the news from Sophocles! You helped him out with testing to kind, yeah? The totem calling machine or whatever? I guess I was test subject number two, but I managed to get through the trial. Maybe even managed to get a bit stronger, eh? Here, James, I want you to take this. A max potion! At least it's not three revives. You only have one volume, don't you? Haven't you ever heard the expression, that silence is golden? Ah, uh, he's back. Listen, Team Skull is looking for a Pokemon called Cosmog. Do you two know anything? What? Uh, not that we tell you. So you do know something. Look. Cosmog isn't even a strong Pokemon, but it has the potential to summon Pokemon so terrifyingly strong that you don't even know. If something like that happened, it would be a disaster for Alola. A disaster? Like, a real disaster? Then what are we supposed to do about it? Protect it. If you do know where Cosmog is, or if you find out anything about it, just keep it safe. I know I might be working for Team Skull right now, so you may not trust me or care, but I'm going to tell you this just once. You have to protect Cosmog, no matter what. I still don't even understand how Team Skull found out about Cosmog in the first place. What do you mean, no matter what? You're just gonna leave us hanging? James? If they're really looking for Cosmog, then... Is Lily gonna be okay? I don't really get what's going on, but we've just gotta keep both of them safe, right? Then I know what I'm gonna do next. Take on my next trial, so I can get even stronger. I'm gonna complete my island challenge. I'm gonna get Tapu Koko to recognize my strength. And then I'm going to be the next Island Kahuna! I want to make sure more and more people can have fun battling to see who wins or loses! James, let's both try to become real champions! Well, that was something. Is Gladion having a uh, change of heart or of his ways or something like that? Anyway, there's a Zygarde cell at nighttime right here. I'll probably pick that up off screen at this point. Uh, let's see, is there something in this room? It's a uh, Stuffle. Hi. Uh, okay. I don't know what you're doing in here all alone, but bye. 
You're so adorable, though. I don't want to really leave you. Uh, I don't... N I don't think there's anything in here. I'm gonna go check anyway. Pokemon has been waiting for its trainer forever. Oh, don't say that. Now I want to save it. I want to rescue it. Ah, how could you? Motel lady. Uh, police officer. Can you please rescue that poor Pokemon sitting in that room? Like to pretend you were a hero like you used to love to when you were a kid. Oh, those were the days. Pretending you were a superhero as a child. A moonstone right in front of this little pond area, which I guess we can't fish in, but, you know, maybe some other time in a, another place far, far away. Hey, is another Zygarde cell right there. Nice. Uh, let's see. Do you have anything to say? It's living in a desert like Hayana... Haya... Haina? Yeah, Haina Desert. That makes you appreciate the value of an oasis. As the weaknesses of different types that make you appreciate different Pokemon. Ah, I see. Okay. Uh, we have some Team Skull grunts. What? You got a problem, short stuff? I can stand guard even when I'm squatting. I'm sure you can. Well, let's go in these trailers here. Oh, more Team Skull grunts. Team Skull was born out of this old group that once formed around one of the old kahunas. But that whole thing fell apart after they got smacked down by the wrath of the Tapu. Oh, so Team Skull used to be led by a Kahuna? That's, or a former Kahuna, I guess I should say. That's, uh, interesting. You can't know who will get named a Kahuna or not, youngin, till they're chosen. Even humans sometimes have to live to the whim of some capri capricious Pokemon. I've never seen that word before, so I probably pronounced it wrong. Yay, words that are hard. And a Rangaroo? Hello? Oh, you're singing a song. That's so adorable. Let's go inside this trailer here. Another Team Skull Grunt, or I guess a punk trainer. What the heck you think you're doing, huh? Did someone say you could come in here? N not that I'm doing anything in here. I haven't done nothing. You want to scrap? Oh, okay, let's fight. You what? What? Uh... No, 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 no. Ain't got time for you. I just beat you silly anyway. Not worth it. S so I'll leave you with this. Use it to train up and come back when you're worthy of my time. TM12 for a taunt. I get it, because you were taunting me. Uh... Anyway, I love how Sudowoodo in the 3D games is just like a... Actually standing still like a plant or a tree, I guess. Like in the Gen 2 games, it's actually quite cool. I love that nod. The desert is like a different place every day, because the winds are always moving the sand. And somewhere in that confusing mess lie the ruins of abundance. Maybe Tapu Boo Boo just wants to be alone? Ah, so now we know of Tapu Coco, Tapu Lele, and now Tapu Bulu. Since there's another island left for us to explore, Pony Island, I wonder what the Tapu of that area will be. I, I feel like someone's eyes are burning into the back of my head. It's giving me the creeps. Uh, I guess that was me, I'm sorry. The Haina Desert is like nature's own maze, but they say you can find your way through if you keep a close eye on those stone stacks. Someone once said the answer is 2143, but what is that supposed to mean anyway? Ah, 2143, that's used in a lot of Nintendo games actually for a code. I think that's a co the code in uh, the one level in Paper Mario Sticker Star. Uh, I assume I can't go here yet, because I assume I need to clear the ghost-type trial, so I'm just gonna avoid that for now. And I'm going to head down here, because this is a little fishing spot, it looks like? Maybe there's an item here? There is an item here. A guard special! Okay, I mean, that's cool, I probably won't use it, I'll probably end up selling it anyway. Uh, but that seems to be it for Route 13, so let's make our way over finally to the Tapu Village. Yes, finally the Tapu Village, and it's raining! Oh, nice! I like it! Alright, hello. Tapu Village. The village was named that because the Tapu appeared here to protect Mount Wanakila, which reaches up so close to both the sun and moon. But that's all that's left at of it now is the name. Oh, that's kind of sad, but I like the backstory. It 
<sighs> Look, James. Seems like we're almost to the Aether House, where the captain is supposed to be, huh? Hey look, construction workers. That must be what Kakui was talking about. So they're really making a Pokemon League up top on Mount Monokila. The professor told me the Pokemon Leagues in other regions have four crazy strong trainers in them that they call the Elite Four. The Elite Four and our island Kahunas. I wonder which ones are stronger. I can't wait to find out. How can you really find out if you don't travel to the other regions and take on those Elite Fours? Alola! We have our ride Pokémon here to help us move our heavy construction materials. Do you say the same thing, Alola? Oh, we're gonna make an awesome leak here, so you'd better become an awesome trainer. I assume I can't go in there? Yeah, I figured correctly. Still under construction. Well, I can't wait to go take it on. Hey, look, another Zygarde cell chilling out right in front of the Pokemon Center. Hello. Oh, that abandoned site. Yeah, it was overrun by ghost-type Pokemon. If you went in there, you'd never come out again. Well, that sounds like a challenge. I'm always up for a challenge. People like to say that Tapu Bulu destroyed the supermarket in its rage, but that's not right. It's the people themselves who were to blame. What they... What did they think would happen when they built a shop on a land that's sacred to the Tapu? Oh, so... It's people's fault that the Tapu is evil? Or something? I don't know, I'm not entirely sure. I bet if you could find a way to store all your treasures in a Raquanid's bubble, they would be safer than any safe in the world. That's interesting. Do you just think of that? Like, that all the time? Anyway, now we're on Route 15, although I probably should go by that abandoned site. Yeah, yeah, okay, and you're every last train of Route 15. I assume that building we just saw back there with an important sign in front of it is the Aether House, but I'm just gonna avoid that for now. Okay, so, let's head down to what I assume is Route 14, or a continuation of Route 14. There's some water we can surf in. There's also places we can explore up here. Okay, let's see. There's an item. Max Potion, very nice. I'll probably end up selling that though, because I just kind of stick with uh, Super Potions until I end up uh, being able to buy full restores. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything, more specifically Zygarde cells. Aha, speaking of, there it is, Zygarde cell. I think that's number 45 that we found so far. Lots and lots of Zygarde cells we found, but there's still plenty to go. Okay, uh, we can't go up here, but there's some Murkrow. Hey, hi Murkrow, nice to see you. If I had some food I could give you, I would. I That took forever for him to spot me, wow. All right, well, I guess we're taking on a collector. I do have a lot of trainers I need to fight, but uh, I guess one of them I'll be taking on off screen right now. This collector had a Togedemaru which had the ability I would have preferred on mine, and I'm a little bit jealous. Anyway, this is the abandoned site of the old Thrifty Megamart, designated trial site for the Island Challenge. But we can't go in there yet, you would stop me if I even tried. Uh, I don't think you're a trainer. You know, I once saw a Pikachu that knew how to use the move Surf. I wish I could surf half as good as that Pikachu. A reference to Pokemon Yellow and the event Pikachus that know Surf that are available mostly in Japan, because for some reason the Pokemon Company doesn't do a lot of, of those obscure events that can give you Pokemon like that Pikachu that knows Surf outside of Pokemon Yellow. Anyway, we have some wild Pokemon out here in the water, but I'm not interested in you, Finneon. You can go away. Also, I still have Rabombi paralyzed. I should probably use uh, the uh, Pokemon Refresh to take care of that, but I don't really have time for that right now. I also don't have time for any more wild Pokemon, so I'm going to use a Super Repel in my free space. I finally moved some items in there because I was sick of the menus. In the other bag places. 
I think there are some trainers out here in the water, but I would prefer to go to this little I Yeah, I can see you down up. I'm up there. <laughs> Stay down there. I can see you down there. Uh, there is this spot right here in the water. A little island area with concrete and metal pipes sticking out everywhere. It's a TM for Shadow Ball. TM30, a very, very good TM. Uh, actually, is Decidueye good with some special attack? Because I would give it a uh, Shadow Ball if its special attack is decent. Actually, no, I wouldn't. Shadow Claw and Spirit Shackle I have. Yeah, why would I do that? I need a, I need a Grass-type move. I don't need more Ghost-type moves. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, uh, let's go surf again. Hopefully the trainer doesn't turn around. Thank oh, he turned around actually right after I, uh, right after I did that. Oh, that's, uh, good timing there. Alright, so there's that fisherman there I can face. I think there's some more trainers on Route 15 to fight, too. And I really do need to train Togedemaru, so I think for now that is going to do it for this episode of Pokemon Sun and Moon. Uh, really quickly though, I will heal my Pokemon, and I will, uh, I guess, like I said, or implied, I will take on some trainers off screen, that way Togedemaru can catch up to the rest of the team, and then I'll uh, go to the Aether house it looks like to meet up with Acerola and Lily and Hal and who God knows who else. So until then, thank you for watching, and I will catch you later.